number two, which is Postmaster Hindi. She gives a speech from the Advanced Communication Series, uh, and she has chosen the, the manual storytelling. Toastmaster Lily is a member of Toastmasters for many, many years. She took over already plenty of roles, and also um, in the Exicom, she was our president in the past. She was already um, um, vice president education uh, membership <laughs> and uh, is very experienced. I would like to ask now the evaluator of Toastmaster Didi, Toastmaster Islands, to give us the, the object of her speech. Please, Toastmaster Islands. Fellow Toastmasters, honored guests, Ms. Toastmaster of the day, Madam <coughs> Toastmaster of the day, sorry. I'm not able to give you the, um, this, give you these points. Why? Because they are not available to me. <laughs> but I can read something which is available to me, namely, Storytelling 1, the Fork Talk, Fork Tale. Lily will tell us a folk tale that is entertaining and enjoyable for a specific age group. So it must be us, no? <laughs> Use vivid imagery, imagery and voice to enhance the tale. So, let's have this surprise. Thank you, Toastmaster Alice. Toastmaster Lily, we now have speech with the title Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Toastmaster Lily? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. The specified age group for this story that I'm going to tell you is two and a half to ten years. So let's all become children. This is a story about the three bears. Once upon a time, in a forest, long ago, far away, there were three bears. And they lived in a cottage in a wood, a forest. There was a big papa bear. And there was a little mama bear. And there was a wee little baby bear. One morning, mama bear made the porridge for breakfast and decided that they should go out for a walk in the forest while they were waiting for the porridge to cool down. So off they went. Big papa bear. Little mama bear. And Baby bear trotted off through the forest for their walk so that their porridge could cool down. While they were gone, Goldilocks, who lived in the little village beside the woods, decided to go for a walk in the forest. She was happily skipping along in the forest, looking at the flowers and chasing the rabbits, when she came across. Cottage, a pretty little cottage in the middle of the wood. She peeked through the window. She knocked at the door. Nobody answered. She tried the handle. It was open. She was in the middle of their living room kitchen. It was a tiny cottage. She saw the table with the three bowls of porridge. Papa Bear's big bowl, Mama Bear's middle-sized bowl, and Baby Bear's wee little bowl. Goldilocks was hungry after her adventures in the forest, and she decided to taste that porridge. It smelled so good. So she took Papa Bear's big spoon, and she tried a spoonful of his porridge from his big bowl. It was too hot. No! Then Goldilocks took the middle-sized spoon of Mama Bear's middle-sized bowl and 
she tried the porridge. It was already cold. Mama Bear liked a, a flat bowl that cooled down very quickly. Then Goldilocks saw the little bowl. Wee Baby Bear! They took Wee Baby Bear's little spoon and tried the porridge. It was so delicious! She gobbled it all up! Goldilocks was so full and a little bit tired. She looked around and she saw three chairs. A big chair from Papa Bear, a middle chair from Mama Bear, and a little wee chair for Baby Bear. She went and sat down on Papa Bear's chair. It was too hard. Then she sat in Mama Bear's chair. It was too soft. She nearly fell through the bottom. Then she sat on little wee baby bear's little wee chair. And it was so nice. It was a perfect fit. And she sat down in it and she was so excited. She started rocking back and forth. But she broke the chair. Fell down to the floor. And the chair was in pieces. She got such a shock. She was a little bit frightened. And as she was picking herself up off the floor, she noticed there was a staircase in this tiny little cottage going upstairs. She didn't hesitate. Goldilocks walked up the stairs and saw the bedroom on top of the cottage. She went straight to Papa Bear's big bed. But it was too hard. Then she tried Mama Bear's middle-sized bed. But it was too soft and spongy and squishy. Then Goldilocks saw Baby Bear's bed. It was a wee little bed. Just perfect for Goldilocks. She crawled into Baby Bear's bed. It was so comfortable. She was so tired from her walk in the forest and so full from the porridge that she'd eaten. She fell fast asleep. While Goldilocks was sleeping upstairs in little Baby Bear's bed, the three bears came back from their walk and wanted to have their breakfast. They came and found the door open. Did you leave the door open? Did you leave the door open? I didn't leave the door open. They all went in. Papa Bear saw the big bowl with the big spoon sticking in the middle of the bowl. Somebody's been eating my porridge. Mama Bear found her middle side bowl with a spoon sticking in the middle of it. And Mama Bear said, Somebody's been eating my porridge. Baby Bear found his bowl on the table, found the spoon in the bowl, and the bowl was empty. Poor baby bear. Somebody's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up! Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear looked at each other, looked around and Papa Bear saw his chair. The cushion had been moved. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Mama Bear, Somebody's been sitting in my chair. Little wee baby bear. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. They've broken it to pieces. They went up the stairs. And Papa Bear saw that his bed had been knocked up. Somebody's been lying in my bed. Mama Bear. Somebody's been lying in my bed. Baby bear. Somebody's been lying in my bed and she's still here. 
blocks were fast asleep, but when she heard Baby Bear's squeaky voice, she woke up and saw three bear faces looking at her lying in Baby Bear's bed. She got such a fright, such a shock, she jumped up and sprung out of the window and ran through that forest as fast as she could until she got home. And Goldilocks didn't walk alone through the forest near that cottage again for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> It was a great presentation. I really felt like being a child. I was fascinated. <laughs> so, fellow Toastmasters, the guests, please could you give your written feedback uh, for a minute? You have one minute to write it. And then we will continue with the impromptu speaking. Means this the table topic session. <coughs>